Alright, hey guys, it's Wildcat Bat. I mean, oh my god, sorry, that's my Xbox name. Uh, hi guys, it's Batman0207. And today we, well, still the same day as my first video, but I decided to go ahead and make a second recording. Oh, don't worry, my, it'll switch to the point of view in a minute. Um, of a, what's it called? A um, if you if you've ever had trouble, oh, if you've ever had a problem with a, I don't know what exactly what to call this, but if you've ever had trouble canning your lava or water and transporting it, uh, then you might want to watch this. But if you don't, if you've never had a problem putting that to buckets and transporting it anywhere, uh, then just click off the video. That this is for you. I'm gonna go ahead and set up my camera real quick. Um, so this little device right here, I have it feeding into, let me go ahead and drink my potion. This little device right here, sorry if you can hear my controller. Um, uh, this, this thing right here, uh, uses a block update detection system which is this and what it does is when you place lava or water right here uh, it sucks it up into this dispenser and you get the buckets from here uh, transfers it through this chest from that hopper and then I just have it feeding into a um, a auto smelter right over here what I could do is have it feeding to this one, which we will be doing a video on either later today or sometime tomorrow. But we'll see. Um, so what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and review it. So when you place your lava down, it automatically sucks it up and cans it. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just stop that right there so it'll get trapped in there. And when you place the lava, there it is. Lava, boom, there it is. And as you can see, there's nothing really behind here. Now this is useful is, I'm just going to go in the nether. Um, how this is useful is, I have set one up in the nether right over here, with the transport tube right over here. And what this does is, when you place the lava right here, it sucks it up, and it transports it all the way over here, and then I just have a clock. It's not active right now. And when you throw something through the nether say I throw this through the nether it shows up on the other side disappeared now if I come through walk through the other side boom there it is waiting for me on the other side and I just have two hoppers on each side to collect the lava buckets and ship it off um, and now we're going to get down to building it so what you're going to need is your block of your choice Redstone, redstone comparator, redstone repeater, uh, sticky piston, uh, a hopper. Where's the hopper? Here's a hopper. A chest, of course. A dispenser. A cauldron. It has to be a cauldron specifically, and then a water bucket. And I believe that is it. Yes, okay. And all credit to this goes to Mr. Crayfish. I will link his video in the description. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead. I'm just going to elevate this so you can build it however you wish. Is go ahead and place your chest and place a hopper underneath it. This is your key to wherever you want to transport it to. Or wherever you want to transport it to, specifically. Um, and what you want to do is you want to go ahead and build a block here, another uh, hopper going into this chest right here, and then a dispenser facing towards this chest on top of this hopper. Then where do you want to go? I'm just going to go ahead and surround this, so that way I have a visual uh, reference of what I want to do. Make sure there's a hole in front of this. This is in case the lava sometimes spills out. 
you will have an area so it doesn't break the comparator behind it. Uh, then you want to, which way is the comparator face? The comparator face is towards the dispenser. It is not on, as you can see, off. It's in the off state. Then you want to have a redstone dust underneath it. Block. Block. Redstone dust, redstone dust. Hopper. Hopper. So it's just like that. Now, if you want this to be extended further, all you have to do is add a chest on top of that. This is where all of your buckets are going to come from. So now what you're going to do is you're going to go right here. So it's going to be a cross. Then you're going to add a repeater with one tick. If it doesn't work, then add um, another tick. Then sticky piston on top or uh, right next to this uh, repeater cauldron, and this should cause a block update unless I did something wrong. If you fill this with water, there we go, block update. So now what you want to do is you are going to fill this chest right here with buckets. I'm just going to place it right here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your bucket. I'm just going to use a bucket of water and a bucket of lava. So what you want to do is you take your water the first two are going to get sucked up into here and sucked up into here so if I place it sorry my xbox is apparently a little laggy and it's not wanting to work for me today so I'm going to put this back in here, and if it doesn't work, there we go, okay, so now it should be in, oh, that's the first one, so it should be in here, now the second one, it's going to be in here, and now the third one will be in here, I'm going to destroy that, so now everything will go into here, lava, water, oh, now the water will take place of the lava. It will also have to take those two places. And voila. And to keep it from overflowing like that, obviously just lock it up at the bottom. and cover it up however you want to. Now for the transport tube, if you don't know this, uh, which most of you should hopefully, I'm just going to go up under here and destroy this. And to make the transportation tube as I like to call it, which is basically the hopper system, all you have to do is say you want all of them to filter into this chest back here. Okay, easy. All you have to do is make a line of hoppers. Make sure they're all facing into each other, heading towards the chest. Because if you do it the other way, it will be wrong and you will have made a very, very large mistake. And I seem to be trapped. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to test it. There's nothing in this chest over here. Now, if I... I'm going to go ahead and block this up again, because I know it's going to spill out. And if you go ahead and place down your water bucket, it should can it up in the buckets and ship it over here. Everything's over here. Now, how this happened was, when I finished it, all the stuff that was in this chest previously was in here. So anything I put in here will go over there. 
Stinky Piston should arrive in a minute. It has to just travel through all of these hoppers into there. There it is. And to prove it is the last one is a water bucket. So I'm going to have to place three lava buckets. One. Two. Three. Now, what this will do is this will filter out the water buckets and replace them with lava buckets. And now the water buckets are over here. In the last lava bucket. The last one's a lava bucket. And now it'll it should be over here. In a couple of seconds, of course. And there it is. And now you have your auto lava slash water uh, canner and transportation tube so you don't have to carry a ton of buckets on you and just put them in this chest that's all for today guys um, well for this video guys uh, see you in the next video